Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is day 24 of Vlogmas or Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas Eve or happy Christmas everyone. If you are returning to my channel, thank you so much for your support. My channel has grown so much within the past 24 days. And if you are new to my channel, I hope whatever I present today is enough for you to considering subscribing or liking or commenting on this video. Or you can do all three. Okay guys, I just had a Christmas gift given to me. So I had a video previously about my favorite place, my favorite restaurant here, um, which is Telecom Place Cafe. And they have a Christmas menu and I kept forgetting all week to um, call and put in my order so that I'll have a meal on Christmas. Otherwise, I would have been cooking tomorrow and I forgot. And yesterday when I called, they were sold out and oh my goodness, shame. I called this morning and I was like, oh, I know you guys are sold out. Um, but if any orders fall through, please give me a call. I mean, they're, they're familiar with me. They know me pretty well, actually. So they just called me and they told me that they can put in my entire order. So yay, Merry Christmas, because I was trying to think of what I'll be cooking tomorrow to eat. Okay, so one down. Okay, so today is Christmas Eve and traditionally in Trinidad, that's where I'm from, Trinidad and Tobago, a lot of people will be hurrying to do like last minute finishes on everything changing curtains a lot of people paint at this time during christmas so finish up with painting any house um chores or decorations um getting ready to cook ham turkey or prepare food for tomorrow finishing up baking uh, finishing up the christmas drinks which include uh sorrel or some people know it in the u.s as like hibiscus drink especially around especially within the Latinx community. Um, sor so sorrel, punch of creme, which is uh, it's similar to eggnog. However, it is al al alcohol is added to it and ginger beer. So additionally, we have our own um, local beers and so forth. So to be honest, the way I celebrate Christmas in the US, which is I don't really celebrate would not cut it in Trinidad because around the Christmas season everybody goes harang ing so it's similar to caroling here or what you would people would say as caroling however it's more hanging out with friends and family and usually this is the one time of the year you would expect people to have some kind of food in their house so um like right now I'm sure supermarkets are crazy busy in Trinidad Anyway, so today I am going to make a spin off of the punch de creme, which is the eggnog drink. I am going to make pump the creme, which is which replaces the eggs with pumpkin. So this drink has become um, a bit more popular within the past decade or so. And I really love it. And I'm just going to share with you today. I got this recipe off of the internet. I will leave a link to the video that I received this recipe from in the description below. And I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, I'm ready. I've gone ahead and um, prepped some of the ingredients that I'll be using. So the first thing I need is one cup of pureed pumpkin. And I'm just going to add this to my blender. The next thing is a can of evaporated milk. And I have a can of evaporated milk carnation. I think that's the evaporated milk that everyone uses in the Caribbean. Then one and a half cup of regular 100% milk. I don't have 100% milk. Um, but I do use oat milk, so I'm just going to substitute that in here. I love oat milk. It is really, really creamy. If you haven't tried it, I think you should try it. It's this brand. I made a hot chocolate with this oat milk before, so if you haven't seen my hot chocolate video, you should probably check it out. 
the next thing is one a half to a can of sweetened condensed milk i'm just going to use the entire can only because i won't be doing anything else with condensed milk so it will be better for me to use all of it some time ago i had like regular punch creme from someone and usually the eggs are in punch creme and they didn't blend the eggs properly so since then I uh, also oh, when I drank it that time like the eggs the slime of the eggs was on my tongue and since then I've been taken away from like regular punch of creme I only drink it from people I trust now though okay so a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of cardamom, and a quarter teaspoon of brown ginger. I don't have all of these, so I'm just going to use a teaspoon of the pumpkin spice. Teaspoon? Sorry, a teaspoon. Oh, let me not see what I have here, but yeah. I'm just adding everything to the blender. Then... A teaspoon of vanilla essence. I have this vanilla essence that I got at CVS some time ago. When I bought this, I didn't realize it was like imitation vanilla essence. However, I wasn't gonna buy a whole bunch of vanilla essence that I won't be using just to create a video. So, like the real vanilla essence, but I'm sure it will taste much better if I use the real thing. So now this is the part that makes this so special. We use white rum. So in Trinidad, we have a brand called White Oak that a lot of people use. But any white rum should be good. I'm using Bacardi only because I live in Seattle and the options that I had to me, especially at the CVS down the street, um, this was all, I, actually this was the only white rum they had. So this is what I'm gonna be using. And this recipe calls for three quarter cup of white rum and you can add as much rum as you want uh, after tasting this i will figure out if i need to add more rum or not and then this calls for half teaspoon of um bitters i have the orange bitters and i don't think it will hurt so i'm just gonna use it the regular bitters a lot of you may have it or you may see it if you did not know fun fact if you're a fan of bloody mary Bloody Mary contains um, Angostura bitters, and this is uh, produced in Trinidad and Tobago. So, little do you know, you may have been consuming Trinidad and Tobago products for all of your life. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit more nutmeg. I know the, um, the, the pumpkin spice has nutmeg, but I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Okay, and then, I'm just going to whip this in the blender. Okay guys, this is what we have. And I'm going to taste it. Usually you will serve this over ice, but I do not keep ice in my refrigerator. So I will be uh, bottling this mixture and having it tomorrow. It will be pretty chill. So I, for me, I won't need ice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and taste it a bit just to make sure it has the right amount of rum and sweetness. But this is it, it's pretty simple. I hope you like it. Oh, let me see if I like it. Okay, so this needs a little rum. This needs some extra rum in it. So I'm gonna be adding more rum. But otherwise, it's really, really good. It's my first time making this. Please don't come for me if you're a Trinidadian. Do not come for me, okay? I got this recipe off of the internet. And anyway, so for the rest of the day, I am going to do what regular Trinidadians do and finish tidy up my place because I do not want Christmas morning reach me with some untidy spots in my apartment. Okay, see you tomorrow, Christmas day. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. Oh, a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy